hello beautiful people we are my people that like to hear just as you all know on the crucial clock as you can see we used to tell stories around the world as in you have to be updated whether you like it or not and then today on the street street of social media i beg me because i not forget say because i'm not vexed say i'm not telling her my name as always i am ayo your host for the cruise o'clock as always i went on the street of social media today and i saw something that caught my attention and i thought that no this cannot be happening on the street of social media and you will not be aware of it how many of you still remember dr h2o mm -hmm. That guy on the street of Nigeria who had marketed um, uh, the Aquafina water and Aquafina went ahead to establish him. But then let me take you back to the memory lane very shortly. Let's have the video of the time when Aquafina established this man. Then we come back to other parts of the story and so some of the things that is happening to him currently. Let's have the video. Was my daddy at the in that age? I couldn't for that medication. Uh, I didn't have hope that this is going to happen to me. Because yesterday I was talking. I will say thank you, Akofina family, for supporting me to become who I am today because everything works by God's grace. And I also say a very big thank you, my body of life. My, my body, body of, of life. life. <laughs> Well, this is actually looking like uh, we are doing a free prom promotion, but then there's a story that we actually want to let Nigerians into. Because this guy, according to him, Aquafina gave him 15 million naira. The, the total worth of the establishment was around 15 million naira. But currently, as we speak, the shop you are looking at has been shut down. The business has gone bankrupt. And we are wondering what exactly happened. So let's have the video explanation of this guy's experience as regards what led to the shutting down of the business the Akofina did for me we saw on social media and it was real unfortunate it wasn't work out for me i was attacked how much was all the product inside what was about eight million there they bought missionaries and application application generators and fan freezer they gave you motorcycle yeah, yeah. where are they today now with me that's it with me the shop is empty yeah the shop is empty i start observing shorties in my business even the morning i have i was like i send information to one of the supervisor and supervise me. I said, okay, report this to the company. Tell them what I'm facing here. So that it will not inconvenience me at the end. Are you told, okay, okay, that is coming to the shop. When Wait, tell them that you're, you're not, you're not, you cannot account for money. So yeah, what, yeah. whose fault is that? Is it the company's fault or your fault? I have a really big attack. I'm still saying. Which kind of attack? In a special way. I'm saying the truth. I'm I'm alive by God's grace, but one, no one's no. I'm alive by God's grace. What kind of attack? Okay, the next one was like giving me a, a, a very big stuff in my leg that swelled up my leg when I came into my shop. My leg started shaking me. When the other things were like, I bought drugs, I play about it, and that is how it goes. So the only thing that is only three that they attacked me like pointing a gun on, at me when I was coming back on bike. That is the second one. They attacked you, cool. pointing gun at you. Did they collect money from you? Nobody collected money from me, but they collected. So how did 8 million naira in product go from 8 million naira in product to empty shop? Huh. It's not a... I can't 
can't just explain this because I myself I'm shocked. I think about it every night. I think about it. I myself I'm shocked. I'm very, very shocked. That's the reason why sometimes someone asks me about this. I will, I will not even know how to explain because I I'm shocked. Did you buy any landed property? Yes, I bought a new landed property, but that was not that much of the money. Now, How much did you buy in the landed property? It was, it was around uh, one point something million. Yes, that was, that was the only thing I did. I stopped buying goods May 26 and 2024. So I see no money. In the money I invested to buy, to bought another goods. If I say any amount of sales I did, I won't see the money. Any amount of sales I did, I will not see the money. But I asked my sales to represent told her how, how does this money goes she told me that she doesn't know anything about it i go on a special way about it and it was so so who was stealing your money nobody stealing my money so how did your money go missing it is a special way spiritual way. yeah they were removing the money from your bank spiritually not actually my bank so what okay the man i met told me that the money actually when someone is giving me when they are changing my goods or services, they, 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 they actually we done some of the money. Have you told Akafina about this? Yeah, I've seen a report. No feedback yet. If you were the one, would you feed yourself back? If you had done an invested eight million naira in somebody, and after a year the person comes back saying you cannot amount for five naira out of this million naira, would you reply the person? No. I need a second a second chance from it. Do like this. Yeah, yourself. Do like this. Is it odd? No, because it sounds ridiculous. Eight million are within a year and you cannot amount for it. It is ridiculous. But who are the people you employed in your business? Okay, um, five was my six. Your sister? Yeah. And the second one I, I brought from the village. Are you proud of yourself? I'm not proud of myself. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of you also. Have you tried walking after that time? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not even walk again, so. For me to walk, I rather get a pay job. And every day, every night, I think about it. I don't feel, I don't feel like eating anything. Maybe you're not hungry. I don't know what to do. My mother just fell away. And it came myself. Do you think wisdom it so deserves a second chance? <laughs> I see shock you, now so he shocked me too. Yes, I was shocked exactly. Ah, as the 15 mil, long, 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 long. You, you, I don't want to, I'm trying to pick my words. I don't want to say that he squandered the money because you can listen to his explanation. According to him, they are taking the money out of his bank account spirit, spiritually. <laughs> Okay, now so the thing they sound from my ear as they carry the money from come up for your account spiritually. I see what I'm saying clearly here is that you see this habit of um we we people are doing something amazing, we empower them without uh without preparing their mind for what is coming. I, I mean there, there was a time that a, a video was making rounds of this popular guy that used to help people. He helped this woman. A stab, gave her 300,000 rand to start a business, rented an apartment for a two bedroom apartment or thereabouts for herself and her children. This woman went back to the streets after some weeks to go and continue begging. Why? Because of the mindset that when you're on the streets, you get better money than when you're established. So, what I'm seeing in the case of this guy, yes, a lot of people are saying spiritual attack is real. Yes, spiritual attack is very real. But then I'm seeing a guy here who who does not know so much about entrepreneurship? Yes, some persons will be looking and saying like, ah, but he has been doing this business. He has been working before he was established. Yet, he might have been working, working and using those money to just feed himself. He doesn't, he, he, the, his mindset is only on um, on how to manage hundreds hundreds or the little thousands that come to him he doesn't he has never encountered millions he doesn't know how to manage millions so while this company was 
um you know was helping this guy to uh, you know why they help him they established him they with this word of product i think another thing they could have done or someone else that could have you know helped this guy is they could have just a guy go and learn how to manage this um this thing that you have with you because according to him in the first one year you already bought a land of over a millionaire you have not even made the capital back he has not gotten the capital that is given to you. So let's assume the money is given to him as a loan. Won't he repay? He has not even made the capital. And you went ahead to buy land. Like, who does that? You've not even reinvested into the business and you went ahead to do that. So I, I, what, I, what I'm seeing in the story of this guy, I don't know I don't know how the tape comes to you. But for me, I'm seeing a guy whose mindset is not um, well fixed enough to manage the amount of money that came to him. At the same time, I, I, it, while the story broke out, there's somebody, one, um, uh, one uh, what, what do they even call him again? One reflex sounds came outside and said, that around that same last year, this guy had actually come to him and said he wanted to produce a song. And he's asking, are you a singer that you want to produce a song? So even though the guy did not later produce a song, we can see where this is this is coming to. That apparently could have been that this guy did not, you know, that amount of money, what can I do with it? A lot of people will be giving, giving him advice on what he's supposed to do. And I can see a repeat of what has happened to this guy. Happened to this fish pie. Oh, that guy. He said they took him to a hotel and, you know, they, they, they asked him to come and be a stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian. <laughs> they asked him to come and be a stand-up comedian in a hotel. He, was he a comedian? This guy knows a particular business. Estab establish him in this field let him get more knowledge in this particular field and you partner with him or if this particular hotel had actually called him to come and be come and be supplying fish pie for them or making fish pie for them once but he was taken in as a stand-up comedian <laughs> and i'm just wondering i'm just wondering so we we need we i'm not blaming the company that had established this guy but that, what I'm saying is, in essence, is that if we are empowering people, we need to understand that they are coming from a particular mindset, from a particular mentality. You are bringing them into a new world entirely. Somebody that is only used to thousands and you just take them into the world of millions and you expect them to be able to manage that. It takes somebody whose mindset is fixed already on how to handle that amount of money to be able to take care of that particular need at the time. So as we are establishing people let's also help them restructure their mindset and help them to learn the business of that establishment guy you are, you are yes you are a million a lot of people would be coming to you come and help me now you're not a millionaire come and do this for me it is not a time for you to be wearing good no don't let me mention all of those brands so it's not be as if i'm doing free marketing it's not a time for you to start learning you know buying all of the big brands wearing good dresses wearing the big brands and all of that it is a time for learn the business of it learn the mindset of an entrepreneur and when you make back your money you understand what it is to gather that money again you reinvest it then you can now say hey i can say because According to him, he may have he may have looked at it like, okay, I have now come to a realm of financial independence. Meanwhile, you were only established. So he doesn't have the mindset of, okay, they have established me. 50, this is a 50 million lira worth of goods. Even though they are not going to get it back, I have to make this money back, save it somewhere, or to reinvest it into the business. By the time I reinvest, then I can now begin to pay myself during the course of that business. So I think this is what crashed the business of this guy. Like I said, we cannot we cannot overlook the spiritual part of it. But then, as you know, this is cruise o'clock. <laughs> this is cruise o'clock. I'm not yet to talk about the spiritual aspect of this. But this is uh, practically what I see in this uh, um, um, in this guy's story. While stories is still unfolding as regards to other things that could have been the reason why this guy's business has folded up. We'd like to hear your thoughts on the cruise o'clock segment right here at Prime Media TV. Please do well to drop in your thoughts in whatever uh, in the comment section of whatever platform you're watching. 
watching us from if you are watching us on facebook we are prime media tv if you are watching us on instagram and tiktok we are prime media studios on the website we are currently watching us we are edginspeak.com you can do well to follow us on our youtube channel at prime media tv remember i am your very girl on the cruise o'clock right here at prime media tv ignited i do well to follow me on all social media platforms thank you do have a great day bye bye now Thank <laughs> you.